Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our lecture today is classification of medical parasitology. Objectives of our lecture outline classification of medically important parasites. Medical parasitology is generally classified into protozoology science that deals with the study of medically important protozoa which are unicellular organisms helminthology science that deals with the study of helminths which are multicellular organisms that affect human protozoa are a diverse group of unicellular eukaryotic organisms with animal-like behavior, such as motility and predation, live in the host and gets its food from its host. Parasitic protozoa vary in size. It is contained membrane-bound nucleus and cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is divided into two regions, which are the inner region called endoplasm and the outer region called ectoplasm. This parasite is Entamoeba histolytica parasite. Contain ectoplasm. This region is a hyaline region because it is clear from granules and vacuoles. The inner form or the inner region is endoplasm which is a granular region because contain it is contain vacuoles, nucleus and other structures. This structure is the nucleus with central karyosome and we can see chromatin granules arranged regularly in the inner membrane of nuclear envelope. Protozoa can be classified according to the methods of movement and reproduction into four classes, which are rhizopods, ciliates, flagellates, and sporozoan. Rhizopods move by pseudopodia, which are cytoplasmic extensions from ectoplasm. Method of reproduction by binary fission, which is a sexual reproduction. Class number two, ciliates. Organelles of locomotion by cilia. And the method of reproduction, a sexual reproduction by binary fission. An example of this class is parasite Belentidium coli, which covered with cilia for movement. The third class, flagellates, organelles of locomotion by flagella, and the method of reproduction, a sexual reproduction by binary fission longitudinal binary fission. The fourth one is a sporozoan, non-organelles of locomotion. Method of reproduction, asexual reproduction by schizogony and sexual reproduction by gametogony.
transmission of protozoa. There are about four ways of transmission of parasites belong to protozoa. Mostly person to person via fecal oral route. Fecal contaminated food or water. Such as in the parasite blastosis the hominis. <coughs> this image belongs to parasite blastosis the hominis. We can see this parasite with a vacular form, consists from large vacuole, takes about 90% from the whole size of the cell, and the other 10% from the cell contain peripheral cytoplasm with peripheral nuclei, from 2 to 4 peripheral nuclei. <coughs> The second way of transmission of protozoa by insect bites, such as in the parasite Leishmania tropica, which cause Baghdad sore. This parasite transmit to human by the bite of insect sand fly. With the bite of this insect, it will give the infective stage of this parasite to human and transform to the other stages of its life cycle to form Promastigot, which is a spindle shape and has flagellum in the interior portion. Here we can see the nucleus. The third way of transmission of parasites, protozoan parasite, through sexual contact, such as in parasite Trichomonas vaginalis. Trichomonas vaginalis belongs to flagellates parasite. This parasite has a pure shape with four anterior flagella with the same length in the anterior portion and large oval or rounded nucleus near the anterior pole. And we can see here the fifth flagellum which stand posteriorly. The fourth way of transmission of protozoan parasite by insect feces, such as in the parasite Trypanosoma cruzi, which caused Chaka's disease. <coughs> This parasite, Trypanosoma cruzi, transmit by the vector Triachomin, which has the infective stage of this parasite. Through the bite of Triachomin to human, it will take blood and put its feces, which contain the infective stage of this parasite, called metacyclic trypomastigot. This metacyclic trypomastigot enters the body of a human through the hole which made by the insect and complete the life cycle in the human body. Stages of life cycle. We can see two stages in the life cycle of a protozoa. 
trophozoic stage, the motile vegetated stage multiplies by binary fission and colonizes the host. The second stage is the cyst stage, which considered non-motile stage and the infective stage of the of the parasite survive in the environment due to the presence of the cyst wall. Cysts can't multiply. Some forms cyst as a way of protecting themselves. Most parasites have these two stages in their life cycle. But there are few parasites has one stage in their life cycle. without the cyst stage, such as in the parasite Trichomonas vaginalis. Life cycle of Blastocystis hominis as an example of a protozoa which has two stages in their life cycle the cyst stage and trophozoite stage infection occur after ingestion of contaminated food or contaminated water with fecal particles contains cyst stage of this parasite. After ingestion, cysts convert to trophozoite stage. The most common form of trophozoite stage is the vacuolar form, as we said before. Consists from large vacuole and peripheral cytoplasm with peripheral nuclei. The vacuolar form either multiply by binary fission and give other vacuolar form or trans to amoeboid form or trans to granular form which contain granules or convert to the cyst stage. Cyst stage shed with the stool outside the body and complete its life cycle. As we said, this parasite has trophozoite stage and cyst stage. Another example of the life cycle of a protozoa is parasite Palantidium coli. cause the disease Belentidiasis. This parasite covered with cilia and moved by cilia. The infective stage to human through ingestion of cyst stage which is found in water or food. After ingestion, convert to trophozoid and multiply by transverse binary fission, then trans to cyst stage with shed outside the body with a stool and repeat the life cycle. There are three groups of amoebae. Pathogenic amoeba includes Blastocystis humanus and Intamoeba solidica. The second group, non-pathogenic amoeba, includes 
in Tamiva Kolai, in Tamiva Gingivalis, in Dolomax Nana, and Ayurveda Amoeba Bacilli. The third group is a free living amoeba, includes Parasite Nigleria Groberi. This parasite is in Tamiba Hesolitica, an example of pathogenic amoeba. And this parasite is in Tamiba Kualai, which considered non pathogenic amoeba, consists from trophozoic stage and cyst stage. In this trophozoic stage, we can see the pseudopodia, which are cytoplasmic extensions from ectoplasm as we said and no marked differences between ectoplasm and endoplasm endoplasm is highly granular region and this structure is large nucleus with eccentric karyosome while nucleus is one nucleus in the trophozoite we can see eight nuclei in the cyst stage of the sporocyte other example of non-pathogenic amoeba is the parasite in the amoeba gingivalis as we said before, it is opportunistic parasite. This parasite, till now, consisted from trophozoite stage only, without cyst stage. We can see here the nucleus with central karyosome and food vacuoles contain leukocytes. An example of Free living amoeba Nigleria groberi. We can see here the pseudopodia and large nucleus with large dark karyosome. Now we talk about homontology. This phylum or this subkingdom divided into two phylums phylum platelminthes and phylum nematelminthes as we compare between the two phylums we can see and the parasites belong to phylum platelminthes body flattened dorsal ventrally while in the parasites belongs to nematelminthes body is cylindrical body cavity absent while in the parasites belongs to nematelminthes we can see the body cavity elementary canal absent or rudimentary while here elementary canal is complete suckers present suckers are structures found in the scolex region or the head region of the parasite the function of these suckers for attachment in the mucosa of small intestine and then formation of neck region and other segments of the parasite. While in the parasites belongs to nematelminthes, we can see suckers. Parasites belongs platelminthes, mostly hermaphrodite. We can see both male and female genital organs in the same worm, while in the parasites are sexually differentiated.
we can see male fluke and female fluke. Phylum platyhelminthes consists from two classes, which are cystodi and trematodi. While phylum nematelminthes consists from one class, which is nematodi. <clears throat> As we make comparison among these three classes, we can see body is tape-like and segmented and the parasites belong to cystode. The morphology of this worm, like a tape and segmented consists from immature segments, mature segments and gravid segments which are full with egg, eggs or ova. While the body of parasites belongs to trematode, leaf-like and unsegmented. Parasites belongs to nematode is cylindrical and unsegmented. Regarding sex, parasites belongs to cystode are hermaphrodite. Also, parasites belongs to trematode are hermaphrodite except schistosoma. We can see male and female worm. While parasites belong to nematode are differentiated into male and female worms. Head region or scolex region often provided with hooks and suckers for attachment in the mucosa of intestine of the definitive host. Parasites of a trematode without hooks but with suckers, while parasites of nematode no hooks or suckers and has well-developed buccal capsule. The parasite of nematode has well-developed buccal capsule. Elementary canal is absent, while in trematode incomplete, which meaning without anus, while in nematode complete with anus. Body cavity is absent also in trematode, but it is present in nematode. Mode of infection in cystode by insisted larvae. In trematode, mainly by larval stage, entering intestinal tract sometimes through skin. While in nematode, the mode of infection through ingestion eggs or penetration of larvae or arthropod vector or ingestion of insisted larvae. This is the parasite Tinea saginate, which is uh, an example of tapeworm. We can see this parasite with a shape like a tape. Tinea saginate length reach up to 10 meters with the segments up to 1,000 egg segments. In the anterior portion we can see here the scolex neck region 
immature and mature segments than gravid segments. This is a real image of this parasite. Another parasite belongs to phylum platyalminthes, class Histode or tapeworm, is the parasite Diphylopotrium latam, which is called fish tapeworm. The length of this parasite up to 14 meters with segments up to 4,000 segments. Here, the anterior portion with the scolex, while the posterior portion here is the gravid segments. The morphology of this parasite like a tape. So it is belongs to phylum platyalminthes class cystode. The common name of these worms tape worms. This image taken by electron microscope belongs to parasite Hymenolepis nana. Other example of tapeworm, phylum platyalminthes, class Cystode. We said scolex of Cystode provided with four suckers and hooks. These are hooks with rostellum which carry these hooks. Other examples of phylum platyalminthes class trematode such as the parasite fasciola hepatica. This is a real image of this parasite, which habit in the, the habitat of this parasite in the liver. This is the oral cone provided with oral suckar and ventral suckar, and these dark lines are the CK or intestine. Other example of parasite belongs to Trematode is parasite Fasciolopsis busci, which considered the giant intestinal flukes. We can see here the oral suckar and the ventral suckar behind it. We can see both male and female genital organs in the same fluke. These are two branched testes in the middle of the body and in the posterior portion of the body. In front of them, we can see the ovary and the uterus. Other example of parasites belongs to trematode is the parasite Clonorchis sinensis. Oral suckar and ventral suckar. And these are two ceca. Also we can see uh, we can see the male uh, genital organs consists from two branched testes in the posterior portion of the body and this is the spherical ovary leading to the long tubular uh, uterus and then the common genital core. Now we take 
and examples of parasites belongs to nematode. Nematode, the class of phylum Nematelminthes. This image belongs to parasite Trichurus trichura. Here we can see the male and female. Anterior portion of male, this is the anterior portion of male, lead to the posterior portion which curve sharply curve into a coil of 360 degrees or more while this image belongs the female of a trichuris trichura the anterior portion this is the head region and the posterior portion is a club shaped other example of parasites belongs to nematode is the parasite Nicator americanus and Ancidostoma duodenal. We say that buccal capsule is well developed. In the parasite of Nicator americanus, we can see the cutting plates in the mouth while in the buccal capsule of Ancelostoma duodenal we can see here pairs of teeth <coughs> pairs of teeth the other last example of parasites belongs to nematode is the parasite Enterobius vermicularis. The common name of this parasite is pinworm or seat worm. This image is the female which has sharply pointed tail in the posterior portion. And this image is the male. We can see here the posterior portion curve to form question mark. This lecture today we talk about classification of parasitology and uh, we classify parasites into protozoa and uh, helminths. and explain the outlines of these classifications. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.